What's up, everyone? Welcome to my show. Um, just kind of woke up. Uh, went to check the mail. Got tons of books. Um, I probably should turn the light on, but I think it's all right. Um, <laughs> I'm amazed the prices I got these for. So uh, let's let's jump right into them. Um, this one, I'm, I'm amazed what I got it for, I, I guess, but I'm happy to have it. It's, it's got some defects, but you know what? Like I said, I'm happy to have it. Um, Amazing Spider-Man number 44, which is the second appearance of Lizard, I believe. I think. I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive. But as you can see, it's got a big crease going right through the middle, which normally, I've said before, I'm kind of a cover whore. Like, the cover has to be in great shape, otherwise I don't want to be bothered. But I've kind of changed my outlook on things the way, like with prices of comics. Um, so I kind of looked at it, I'm like, eh, it's not that bad. I was like, the colors are still really bright, which is really cool. Um, and like I said, the price I paid, very happy for it. Uh, I paid eight bucks. That's with the shipping for this. Nobody bid on it. Got it for eight bucks. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, hey, you know what? <laughs> not a problem. Um, so that's pretty damn cool, man. So that's the only real problem with it. It's just that, that line going through it. Which, it's funny because it, it's a crease, but it doesn't feel like a crease. Like at one point it looks like somebody was folded over and somebody kind of, you know, had it like that for years. But then it looks like they unfolded it and had it like this for years. Because when you feel it, it doesn't fold. Like when you go through the pages, it doesn't like flap over like it should. But it's like solid like a line. Almost like a scratch more than a crease. But... You know what? Like I said, for eight bucks, I'm not complaining. It puts a little notch in my Spider-Man collection, which I've been kind of lack on, which uh, until now. <laughs> um, got this one. Got this for two bucks and two dollars shipping, so four bucks. Amazing Spider-Man number six oh nine. Trying to go after the six hundreds. Uh, Try to finish that thing, because as of right now, I have all the two hundreds. I have all the three hundreds. I have all the four hundreds. All the 500s and a little more than half of the sixes. I'm um, obviously I have 700, um, so I'm trying to kind of go for that. I'm like, you know what? Let me focus on this because the other issues are way too pricey, and the hundred, like on the 100s up, they're you know they're insanely priced. So I'm like, let me try to go after the 600s because even some of these are insanely priced, um, which I'm gonna get into this one. Um, but I figured, you know what? If I'm gonna go all out might as well try to go backwards I guess um, this I got for a good price as well uh, the guy wanted an insane amount of money on this one uh, but I talked him down because it had a best offer and we were kind of going back and forth the guy wanted 20 bucks for this uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man number 650 definitely near mint copy he wanted 20 bucks and I'm like you know no way I was like I'm paying 20 dollars for that like I said my new my new rule um, is basically, like I said, I save my money. I don't spend more than uh, what I saved. And most of the time it's just 20 bucks. Um, so I put in an offer, I put in uh, 10. I'm like, you know what, I'll do 10. Even that's kind of, you know. So he put 15 and I'm like, uh. Now normally I'd be like, all right, let me see if I can do it. I was like, you know what, screw it. I put in five, I went down instead of going up. And a day went by, no answer. I'm like, wow. I was like, he's not gonna, he's not gonna go for it. Um, and then another day, like the about ten minutes before the the thing would be up, he accepted the offer for five bucks. So I was like, hey, not bad, not bad at all. So I got this for five bucks. That's with the shipping, so that's a great deal from twenty. Um, and this is almost the same with this one. That's my last book to show. Uh, I do have a couple more comics coming in the mail. As well as my drawer boxes eventually, who knows? Um, we'll see. Uh, but basically all the comics I've been getting lately, I've been getting kind of good deals on them. So I'm kind of on a streak. <laughs> but this is another one. This, the seller wanted $25 for this. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But of course he had a best offer. So I'm kind of... I'm not looking at it anymore as, as low-balling people. I'm just looking at it to see what I guess they would accept. Like I'm just kind of going... I guess maybe I'm low-balling. I, I try not to, you know, I try not to be a dick and be like, ah, I'm going to, you know, offer you a dollar and, like, waste your time, but I don't know, you know, it's worth a shot, I mean, it's nothing personal, you know, I just don't want to spend, I wasn't going to spend $25 on this, that's for sure, especially with who's on it, 
Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 651, as you can see the 600 trend. The Black Cat, love me the Black Cat. Um, 25 bucks is like, no, not having it. Um, it seems to be my backwards thing seems to be working. Uh, I put down 10 again on this, and the guy put 20. So then I put three. <laughs> three bucks. Um, maybe it just surprises people that it's like instead of going up or trying to really negotiate, I just kind of go really far back. So I went from 10 to three. And again, the same thing happened. Like it took a couple of days, nobody mentioned, did anything. And right before I guess the bidding was over, the guy accepted it for three bucks. So three dollars for this is pretty damn good, which is cheaper than the cover price. The cover price is four. So, very cool. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm trying not to be a dick, but I'm also trying not to piss all my money away in one shot. Um, I'm trying to bargain shop, I guess. There we go. I'm bargain shopping. <laughs> but uh, that will do it. Like I said, I don't have any... Well, I do have stuff coming, but it's, who knows when it's going to show up. So when that comes around, I would definitely make a video on, on the other stuff coming in from eBay, which I got good deals on as well. Um, and when my comic book boxes come around, hopefully sometime soon... Uh, and I get that all together. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that. I might show one of what they look like. I mean, there are a lot of videos out there that show how to put them together and, and stuff like that. So I guess you know, it's really no point. But um, I'll just show them when they're done. I guess it just makes more sense to do that and go over the pros and cons of, of that I see. Um, and we'll get into that later. But thank you all for watching. Remember, it's not the size of your key that matters. It's what you have in it. Later, everybody.